Hello lab members, I'll be showing you step by step how you can create very consistent looking animated videos having emotional voiceovers effortlessly using only AI for free like this. I'm running so late. I'm home. You won't believe how many YouTube channels are making money uploading this type of content. This one makes tons around 23k to 378k per month. So make sure to follow this tutorial till the end. Let's look at our workflow. Step 1 and 2 Script and voiceover For the script or idea, I'll be using my own written story but you can efficiently automate this using a special AI tool and our sponsor for this video, DubDub which not only helps you generate a script using AI but also creates voiceovers that portray different emotions. Setting it apart from other tools, it has saved me a lot of time as an all-in-one efficient platform. Let's handle both of our steps in one go. Click on Studio and sign up. Select text to speech and click on new file. Type a slash and select video script and describe the story you'd like to create. The AI writer rapidly generates our script. I'll be pasting my own. Start by selecting the first dialog and click multi speaker. Pick a voice that goes with the script and pick the desired emotion to depict from the styles. Who is it? Perfect. Repeat this process for other dialogues, seamlessly mixing multiple voices in a single script. You may adjust pitch and speed to your liking. Click on preview to hear how it sounds. You can adjust the speed of any part by selecting it and clicking on local speed or place a pause at cursor location using add pause to select the length. Add an alias to a word you might misspell. Let's take honey for example. Honey. Let's add our sound effects by clicking sound effect to select one. I'll adjust its volume. And also add background music. Let's review to hear how it sounds. Who is it? I'm running so late. Surprise honey, I'm home. I missed you. I'm skipping work. Let's get lunch. Yeah. The feature phenome can be used precisely to pronounce a tricky word using the phonetic spelling. And CIS can be used to differentiate reading out temperatures or coordinates. Finally, export your creation as a WAV file. But that's not all. DubDub Studio offers other exciting features. Transcription to extract text from a video. Translation to any language. Subtitle alignment which aligns subtitles with any video. And video download to download videos from various social media. Awesome. Check it out now using the link below. You can use it for free or use my special coupon code below for a discount on the premium. Step 3. Crafting the scenes. To go with our script, we need to generate consistent characters and backgrounds. Let's head over to Leonardo AI to start generating our characters first. For my first scene, I'll be needing a varied office working woman. For a Pixar style, make sure to select 3D animation style in fine tuned models. So I'll type in my prompt. And a secret tip to keep all generated characters consistent is to associate the prompt with a random particular name or a celebrity. That way, the AI associates the name and tends to give more consistent generations. Check out this video for more in depth knowledge on the same. For the second scene, I need her husband who is a soldier in his uniform. So I'll type this prompt. The third scene requires both of them standing close. So I'll generate them separately. For consistency, I'll use the previous image of the wife as a prompt for the new one. Similarly, I'll do this for all my characters while associating them with a name. All the prompts and settings will be given below for reference. If you want to learn how to master AI image generation and character consistency, make sure to keep following me as I'll be launching a Leonardo AI prompts master guide soon. I'll generate our backgrounds in a similar manner. Remove backgrounds from your characters and download everything. We'll now go to Canva to craft these incomplete pieces into perfect scenes. Sign in and create a design of size 1600 into 900 pixels. Now upload all the downloaded generations and adjust the backgrounds and characters over them to craft the scenes which we'll be animating. Here is an example of a walking scene. Repeat this for all of them and click on file to download them all. Step 4. Generating animations. 
With our scenes ready to go, we can now generate our animations using Pika Labs, a free AI video generator. Click on the link in the description and a Discord invite will pop up. Just make sure you have a Discord account and accept invite. It will redirect you to the getting started page. All you need to do is click on the Pika bot to the right and select message. This is where we'll pass in our still images to be animated. In the message section, type a slash and select the create pop-up. Now describe the movement or action you want in the image inside the prompt. Make sure to keep the instruction as simple and clear as possible. If you notice, my prompt has these values and symbols at the end. These are basically the optional parameters. Adding dash motion followed by a number denotes the strength of the motion in the image. Similarly, a value of 8 to 24 added after dash gs denotes the weight of the entered prompt. And dash neck can be followed by all things you don't want in your generations. After completing the prompt, click on plus one more and select the image option. Here you can upload the scene you wanted to animate. Now hit enter. And after a few seconds, we can see our image is animated. Similarly, I'll generate all my scenes according to my script by passing in my prompt and the image. Make sure to generate multiple for each scene since it generates only 3 seconds per image. All my prompts are provided below. Once satisfied, click here and download all of them. Step 5. Put them together. Finally, we can put all these components to get our final video in any editor. I'll use CapCut since it's free and easy to use. Upload the voiceover and animations over here and drag the voiceover on the timeline. Then start adding all the animated scenes in sequence. Adjust these scenes to our voiceover and cut the excess of the video accordingly. Like this one here, because it's clearly meant for a horror movie. You can also add any extra sound effects you would like by going to audio, then searching and dragging them where you need. Go to transitions and select the ones you want to add between the cuts. I'll add the blur and blurred highlight. Finally, I'll add a few effects. Pink hearts to go with the theme of my video. Click export and select 4K video resolution. And here's the result. Who is it? I'm running so late. Surprise honey, I'm home. I missed you. I'm skipping work. Let's get lunch. Yeah. In my upcoming video, I'll be covering how to edit and fix images already generated by Leonardo AI to suit our desired scenes or setting, like I did with this one. So make sure you like and subscribe to stay updated. See you in the next one.